Dragging the tucker, sitting nice and tall, hands in her lap, our voices off. Thank you. During our welcome song today, I thought I'd challenge myself to sing the lower octave, the lower sound. Uh, maybe some of you sing that lower sound instead. All right. Here's what we're doing in our week four, day two video. Middle Academy scholars will be able to warm up our ears and voices, sing Red River Valley, tap a steady beat, and echo rhythmic patterns. So those are our goals for today. Uh, so we're gonna start by warming up our ears and our voices. Uh, we're gonna start by warming up our voices a little bit by doing some vocal warm up. The first we're gonna do is scales. I'm just thinking of the song that we're gonna sing today. Uh, we're going to do it in an A sound today. A. So when we sing A, make sure your mouth A. It's nice and wide. Lots of space between your back two teeth. All right, here we go. Uh, every time we sing, we're going to get a little bit lower. Here we go. A. Let's do this one in an ooh sound. Ooh. Uh, let's get as low as we can again. We're straightening back where we started. do kuya. The words are kuya, 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 ah, ah, ah. As we do this one, uh, we're going to get higher every time we sing it. This one helps us to get those big jumps in our voices. I'm going to do one by myself so you remember what it sounds like. Kuya, kuya, kuya. Hey, nice kuya. Nice wide open mouths on ah. Here we go. Kuya, kuya, kuya. challenge yourself to sing it. That's pretty cool. Okay, I also picked Legato. Um, the song that we are singing today, it's kind of smooth, so I thought this would be a good one. Sing Legato, ah, oh, flowing from note to note. Sing Legato, ah, oh, smoothly. Okay, if you need to pause that and read through it, now's a good time to pause. Okay, let's do it. Legato, smooth like silk. Sing legato, flowing from note to note. Sing legato, smoothly. Uh, when we do that one, when we sing flowing from note to note, make that t, -t, -t sound very crisp. It's called enunciation. It's a wonderful thing in singing. Let's do it again. Sing Hey Burrito, I'm not sure if I showed you this one before, so I'm just going to keep it up here on the screen. This is a call and response vocal warm-up, so whatever is at the top, 
I'm going to say, whatever's in parentheses, that's what you're going to say. So I'll let you read this one. This one's kind of silly and fun. Hey, we're reading. Taco Bell, Mrs. Owens? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to copy me. Here we go. I start. Hey, burrito. Hey, burrito. Hey, hey, burrito. Hey, hey, burrito. Mm, yeah, burrito, yeah. Mm, yeah, burrito, yeah. Taco Bell, Taco Bell. Taco Bell, Taco Bell. Guacamole, cinnamon twist. Guacamole, cinnamon twist. Uh, let's do it again. A little bit faster this time. More of a mm, allegro tempo, we'll say. Here we go. Hey, burrito. Hey, burrito. Hey, hey, burrito, hey, hey, burrito, mm, yeah, burrito, yeah, mm, yeah, burrito, yeah. Taco Bell, Taco Bell, Taco Bell, Taco Bell. Guacamole, cinnamon twist, guacamole, cinnamon twist. One more time, instead we're going to do it presto. Hey, burrito, hey, burrito, hey, hey, burrito, hey, hey, burrito, mm, yeah, burrito, yeah, mm, yeah, burrito, yeah. Taco Bell, Taco Bell, Taco Bell, Taco Bell. Guacamole, cinnamon twist, guacamole, cinnamon twist. When you say cinnamon, it goes really fast, I know. Um, I thought I had one more. Do, 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 do. Oh. <laughs> this one we didn't for sure do. I just uh, found this one again. This one's called Lips, Teeth, Tip of the Tongue. This one's easy in its words because you just repeat the same thing. Lips, teeth, tip of the tongue. Lips, teeth, tip of the tongue. Lips, teeth, tip of the tongue. This one's really good for enunciation. Uh, when we do lips, teeth, tip of the tongue, we get higher and faster every time we say those words. And we sing it in a way that's called chromatic, which means instead of singing, as we get higher, we sing. We just inch our voices up little by little, okay? So it's gonna get really fast and kind of crazy at the end. Be ready for it. Lips, teeth, tip of the tongue. Lips, teeth, tip of the tongue. Lips, teeth. Tip of the tongue, lips, teeth, 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 tip of the tongue. voices a little or our ears a little bit and to warm up our brains for doing this kind of music thing so remember our secret word of the day there's some letters missing to fill in those letters you have to be able to read these words on the staff sorry I'm just moving my guitar out of the way okay the letters s and t are already there but there's three letters that are missing there's three notes on our treble clef staff and we have to fill those in by reading the words or reading the letters on the staff um, okay, so I remember from earlier that there's two different kinds of notes. There's notes that are on lines or in spaces. So we're going to do this first note to figure out what letter goes here. So you can think to yourself, is this on a line or in a space? If it's on a line, the line's going to be going right through the head of the note. That's the circle part. part. If it's in a space, it's getting smushed by two lines. This one's in a space. And I remember we said, if it's in a space, you use your face. So over here, I'm just gonna help myself, starting from the bottom, spell the word face, F-A-C-E. And then I can just So what letter should I write? A, A, mm -hmm. All right, is this one on a line or in a space? That one's also in a space, so we just gotta Lines up with our F, so that's F. Is this one on a line or in a space? This one's on a line. So we say if it's on a line, a sentence is fine. And our sentence I like to use is every good burger deserves fries. Every good burger deserves fries. And then I just line it up. This 
top line, line that runs in with this letter F. F for fries. So our secret word today is staff. I was thinking like a treble clef staff. Some of you might be thinking, Mrs. Isles, that doesn't make sense. How can there be two Fs if they're very different? Um, and that's just because of our musical alphabet. Remember, it repeats A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So after we do this F, it starts again and it repeats itself. So this is just the next F. There's lots and lots of Fs on the staff when we get high and low. So our secret word today was staff, like our treble clef staff, the five lines and four spaces that we write music on. Okie dokie artichoke. On the board, I'm going to scoot a little bit. I have the words to the song we're going to work with today. Um, it looks kind of long, but it's really not. This is an old cowboy song. So I'm going to give you a second to read that as I get my pointer off the floor. This song is called Red River Valley. I'm just going to read through the words really quick to acquaint ourselves with what we're going to be singing today. From this valley, they say you are going. A valley is a low spot in land between two high points. So maybe if there's two mountains, the spot in between the two mountains where the land goes down, that's a valley. So from this valley, they say you're going, you're leaving a valley. I shall miss your bright eyes and sweet smile. I'll miss ya. I wrote that in a different color just so it's easier to read the difference between each one. For they say you are taking the sunshine taking the sunshine away that has brightened our pathways a while uh, pathways means kind of like the path that you go on um, the life that you lead. all right so there's somebody that's leaving the valley I'm gonna miss you I miss your pretty face your bright eyes your sweet smile you're taking away the sunshine with you that has lighted my life until now so maybe it's talking about someone that they care about deeply. That's the first verse. Um, there's a second verse that goes with it, but for right now we're just going to uh, concern ourselves with that first verse. So I'm going to zoom her in a little bit so you can see a little better. Uh, I'm going to take you through it on my piano. So I'm going to be sitting a little bit off to the side of the screen, but right now your big goal is to be able to read those words. And I'm going to take you through this song piece by piece. We're going to do an I sing, you sing. I'm going to sing first, you're going to copy. All right, so here's how it goes. I sing first, my turn. From this valley they say you are going. I shall miss your bright eyes and sweet smile. For they say you are taking the sunshine that has the whole first verse. I'm going to sing a little piece. You're going to copy me. My turn. From this valley they say you are going. Your turn. From this valley they say you are going. My turn. I shall miss your bright eyes and sweet smile. Your turn. I shall miss your bright eyes and sweet smile. My turn. For they say you are taking the sunshine. Your turn. For they say you are taking the sunshine. My turn. That has brightened our pathways a while. Your turn. That has brightened our pathways a while. Now, when we sing this, I'm looking back at what we just did. When we sing your bright eyes, you have to sing this note. That's a D, that's kind of high. Um, whenever I have to sing a high note that maybe is sometimes uncomfortable for me, I make sure I'm sitting up with really good posture, sitting up tall, taking a nice deep breath and putting all my air out into it. Um, sometimes it helps if you curl your toes a little bit underneath you to hit those high notes. Put your eyebrows up, it might help. All right, we're gonna go back to the beginning. We're going to try to sing it. You might make a mistake, and that's okay. We're just going to do our best. Here we go. Whole thing. Whole first verse. From this valley they say you are going. I shall miss your bright eyes and sweet smile. For they say you are taking the sunshine that has brightened our pathways a while. This time, I'm going to play something different on piano. I'm just going to just 
do a different kind of accompaniment. That means the thing that the instruments do, but our voice is going to stay the same. Okay, so watch me for our from 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 this. Watch my breaths. You know when to start. Here we go. before. So come sit here a while before you leave me. Do not hasten to bid us adieu. If you hasten, that means you do something very quickly. So don't go quickly. To bid us adieu, bid us means like to tell us. Adieu means goodbye. So don't say goodbye too fast. Just remember the Red River Valley. That valley we sang about at the beginning. Just remember it. And the cowboy who loved you so true. Oh, it's a love song about a cowboy and a, maybe a cowgirl or, I don't know, uh, another person. And the cowboy who loved you so true. The melody, that's the part our voice is saying, is going to stay the same. Then come sit here a while ere you leave us. Do not hasten to bid us adieu. Just remember the Red River Valley and the cowboy who loved you so true. So the melody, the part our voice change, uh, sings, doesn't change. Um, it's just different words. Okay, so we're gonna sing through the uh, second verse, and then we're gonna sing the whole song start to finish, and then we're gonna challenge ourselves a little bit, a little bit with it. Here we go. I'm gonna play a different accompaniment, just like before. Watch me to know when to breathe. percussion you're going to tap your shoulders <laughs> from this valley they say you are going i shall miss your bright eyes and sweet smile you want to tap your head for they say you are taking the sunshine or clap your hands 
sun has brightened on my face a while. I'm gonna do my best on the piano to keep a steady beat going with maybe my right hand, I'm not sure. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to tap the steady beat on my piano. I want you to challenge yourself to sing and tap body percussion at the same time. Whatever your choice in body percussion is, is good for me. Okay, here we go. to sing these old folk tunes because it's the basis of America's history, which is pretty cool. Okay, uh, we have one more thing to do on our list today. I'm watching the time on my camera just so that this isn't the longest video in the world. Um, we're going to do some rhythmic things. So in my hands here, I have two rhythm sticks. Um, I don't expect many, if any of you, to have rhythm sticks at your house. Um, so this is what I'm going to use to tap today. Maybe you have two markers nearby you can grab, two pencils, maybe if family says it's okay, a fork and a spoon, um, just any two things that you can tap together. If you need to pause the video right now to find those two things, that would be cool. If you can't find anything, you can use your hands, you can do a two finger tap, pretend like these are rhythm sticks, that works too. Okay, so we're going to echo rhythmic patterns. We're going to be talking more about rhythms a little bit later. I really want us to tackle that secret word of the day stuff before we get into rhythms too much. Um, but we're just going to kind of get a little rhythm in our bodies, feel a couple beats, learn those tempo markings, um, and then we'll, we'll build on it from there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap a rhythm. A rhythm is a pattern in music. And for now, all you have to do is just copy what I'm doing. So when I start to play my rhythm sticks, just take a breath, listen to what I'm doing. And when you hear what I'm doing, I want you to copy me and join in until I say, ready position. Then I'm gonna throw my sticks up here on my shoulders. And then I know that we're done for a little bit, okay? So here's our first rhythm. Join in when you got it. position. Okay, there's two different ways that we can count that. If we count it the more simple way, we would say that that is ta, 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 ta. If we were to count it the way that I would like for uh, middle academy students to count it, we would count it one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we'll talk more about why we do it that way Maybe next week, maybe the week after. Okay, now I have a new pattern, a new rhythm. And when you catch on to what I'm doing, I want you to join in. This one's different. Ready, position. Okay, if I were to say that and count that out loud, I could say it the simple way. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta. Or if I do it the way that middle schoolers should do it, it would be one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Here's a new one, copy me. Ready, position, work fast with that one. That would be ti ti ta ti ti ta ti ti ta ti ti ta. 
or one and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. Uh, here's another one. Join in. Ready position? That would be ta ta ti 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 ta ta ti 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 ta ta ti 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 or one two three and four and one two three and four and uh, let's do another one. This one's gonna be a little different. Ready position. If I were to say that, it would be ta sh t t ta ta sh t t ta ta sh t t ta or the other way. One, three and four. One, three and four. One, three and four. Okay, now we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna do an echo activity. So I'm gonna play some rhythm that's gonna last for four beats. We'll talk about those beats uh, in the later lesson. Um, and after I play it, you're gonna copy me, okay? Um, so it's gonna go, I play, copy me. I play, copy me. Let's try it. I go first, here I go. Copy me. Copy me. Ready position. Okay, we did a lot of stuff today. We warmed up our voices, we did our secret word of the day, we sang a song called Red River Valley, a cowboy song, and we did some rhythmic patterns um, echoing and copying, so that's great. Uh, we're gonna continue our work with rhythms and secret word of the day and learn more songs as we continue with our music lesson. Thank you for making music with me today, Middle Academy. I hope you had a magical musical day. Let's end with our train exit. Breathe with me. See you next week. Take care.